Good morning. It is about 6.30. We are trying to get an early start to get as much as we can get done before the rain really sets in because we do have about five river crossings today. Uh, I don't think the rivers will be affected by the rain because it's just now starting to rain a little bit, so we should be fine. But the less we have to walk in the rain, the better off it is for us. So the hut got pretty full. I think there were 20 beds and only one was empty. So uh, yeah, I got pretty full last night. Um, I, I slept in a short bed last night. I didn't know that they did those in the hut, but my feet were hanging out. Remind me of an old Dr. Seuss book. His feet were out of bed all night, something like that. Yeah, not the best sleep. But we're going to a campsite today. We should get there about lunchtime. And it'll be raining the whole time, so I'll set the tent up and take a nap and catch up on what I lost last night. Got about 20 kilometers today, 20, 21 kilometers. Relatively flat, mostly downhill as we're heading over to the top of Lake Coleridge and uh, getting ready for the, uh, the final push tomorrow, which then sets us up for a rest day, which we haven't had since St. Arnold. Okay, got a little bit of some navigating to do on the trail, so uh, we'll talk to you later. To the campground. This is where we're supposed to tent. So um, I'm trying to figure out what to do. Um, it's feeling very hypothermic. So um, there's a chance we might be able to get a shuttle from up here and I think I'm gonna have to break my no hitching ride because it was getting pretty serious here for me personally. Um, Richie and another girl are gonna start hiking down so it's 28 kilometers to the next place and um, so that's their plan but I, I don't think that's my plan right now um, there's a group of us here and, uh, for the most part we're gonna see if we can catch a catch a shuttle and uh, and go from there but uh, that's that's where we came from that's where we're going. It looks a little promising, but we just don't know. We just don't know. Okay. Okay. And squat. Two, three, four. Squat. Two, three, four. Squat. 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 Too fast. Hold. And then we're going to wear down. 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 Put some hands in, please. Let's see some hands. Woo. Oh. Oh, my God. My, my thighs. Oh, I can't have died oh, okay. That's a little bit worse oh. now. But I'm trying to hit oh. oh, my daughter would be proud of us. Woo! Oh. Five, write, write your name with your hips. Oh. Write your name with hey. your hips? Oh. 
Uh, I'm not getting past the B. Dot the I. <laughs> Woo! L, L, I, dot. <laughs> Peter! Peter's the man! <laughs> so we have a shuttle coming to get us in an hour. Yay! Thank you, Peter, for laying it on thick. <laughs> yeah. Well, good evening. So, last night, as I finished the video, I said it's going to be a very different day tomorrow. And I had no idea how different a day it would be. So let me give you kind of a recap. So we left early this morning because we knew the rain was coming in. We knew we had river crossings. We wanted to get over those rivers before they got affected in any way with the rain, which was not a problem. River crossings were fine, except the water was freezing. We got up this morning, it was about eight to 10 degrees Celsius. My bad, my um, thermometer's not working right now, so I don't know for sure, but I know the forecast was like eight to 10 degrees all day long. So it never, I know it never warmed up above 10. We walked probably for about an hour and a half before it started raining. And it was never a really heavy rain, but once it started raining, it never stopped. And so as any rain jacket ends up doing it, it eventually wetted through. Um, I got really cold then, um, it, uh, it's wet, it was cold, and then wind started blowing. That's the trifecta for, tri for hypothermia. But I knew that once, and I, I knew all that was happening, I was expecting all that, but I knew that when we got to the campground, I could set up the tent, I'd be able to get out of that wet gear, get into my dry gear, get under my sleeping quilt, and I'd be fine. No problem, except when we got to the campground, as you saw, the camping area was pretty much already underwater and was only raining more. It was gonna completely get underwater. There's nowhere to set up a tent. So we had three options. <clears throat> Number one was to sleep cowboy style in that shelter, but that was just so cold. There was no chance for getting warm. Uh, second option was to hike 28 kilometers to the next town, which is the only option you couldn't camp anywhere along that road. Or the third option was to join in a group that had organized a shuttle to pick them up there. And while Richie and I had been really adamant the whole way that we're not gonna accept hitches, we'd always talked about privately that we would accept a hitch if there was a dangerous situation. For me today, I felt like I was in a dangerous situation. Uh, we had a Canadian in group who looked at me as I'm sitting in the um, in, in there and was kind of, I said, I think I might have hypothermia. And she's like, yeah, it, or I might be heading towards hypothermia. She says, yeah, it doesn't look good. She was concerned for me um, and I was concerned for me. Richie was concerned for me, good on him. He was doing well. He handles the code really, the cold really well. He's a good hiker. So he and another girl decided to go ahead and, and hike the 28 kilometers on top of the 20 kilometers we had already done. So short days, his trail name comes back to haunt him one more time. Um, so he's supposed to get here sometime tonight. Uh, we caught the hitch into Methven. We got a room, the three of us, Barb and Richie and I will share a room here at a, in a little hotel area. We have a rest day tomorrow, and then looking at the weather, uh, after tomorrow is supposed to be clear again for about the next week as we head up um, in towards Stag Saddle, the highest point on the TA. So yeah, today was really different. It was um, it surprised me, you know, how quickly things turned badly for me once we got to that uh, that shelter. But I'm glad we had options, and that was really good. So as much as I hated skipping a section, it was a matter of safety for me today, and I can live with that. I'm I'm fine with that. All right, I um, think that's pretty much it. Uh, we've had uh, our burger when we got here. Uh, we've gone done some food shopping for the next day or so. 
And uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to do for the rest of the night. Um, and uh, then tomorrow rest day, I got to get some new gear. I've got a, a huge hole in the seat of my shorts. I got to get some new shorts, uh, maybe some new socks and um, some new uh, insoles for my shoes. Other than that, I think I'm, I'm doing good. All right. Um, so thanks for watching this point. Hope you don't think less of me for having to take a hitch. I hated doing it, but it was a safety issue. And um, we'll see you tomorrow.